All right, so I'm just headed back from the gym right now. Hit up a leg day where I did some squats, some deadlifts, some dumbbell Romanian deadlifts, some leg extensions and some calf raises. And there's one thing I wanna talk about real quick, which I feel like if I didn't make this mistake, I would have been much further along now than I am now, which essentially is the max strength trap. The one rep max trap where so many people are caught up in getting maximum strength, getting as strong as possible at all costs. Doesn't matter if you're gonna break your legs, gonna break your arms, does not matter. Gotta get as strong as possible because that's what's cool. You gotta get, you gotta show off. You gotta be impressive on the internet, I guess, or to tell your friends and they have no idea what the hell that means. Anyway, oh, you bench 225? Wow, that's cool. I mean, most people don't even really care. Most people don't even know how much that really is. A lot of people think they could do that because they benched 300 in high school. So a lot of people get caught up in this trap where they just want to impress people with the numbers on the bar and maybe they have a friend of lifters and they're competing with each other. And that's a whole different story. That's kind of like fun, challenging work that you can do with a group of lifting friends. But in most cases, nobody cares how much you lift. It's true. So what my idea is here is that it's better to not care about how much you lift and instead care about how you lift it. Because if you see Olympic lifters that are at a high level, yes, they're lifting obscene amounts of weight. Yes, they're probably also getting special supplementation. They probably also have a dietitian that they're on retainer and they pretty much put together all their foods to optimize strength and recovery and all this kind of stuff. But we're not there. That's not who we are. We are just trying to get in better shape get stronger so we can live a better life. And in that case, you don't need to test out your one rep max every month or every week or however long. You don't need to do any of that. Instead, all you gotta do is just get a little bit better than last time. And that doesn't always mean adding weight to the bar. It could be mean, it could mean adding a single rep. It could be adding two reps, who knows? It could be getting better at a different exercise. It could be getter, getting better at the same exercise. I mean, my, my opinion, I think it's better to stick with the same exercises week after week for at least a couple months before you change anything, mainly so you can track your progress and see how you're going over the time and track every workout, write it down in notes so you can compare it to last week and just be like, okay, I did eight reps on the squat this week with 150 pounds. I wanna go ahead and do nine reps or maybe add five pounds and still try to get eight reps. However you wanna run your program, whatever your program says, continue to do that, right? You want to stay on the program but you don't have to sit there and just be like oh well i benched 225 last month i want to see if i could do 245 or even 230 it doesn't matter you want to just play the long game don't worry about your one rep max strength and instead maybe worry more about your 10 rep max strength because that you're going to get a lot more mileage out of doing 10 solid reps than you will with pushing yourself to the absolute limit and, that, and risking injury over your one rep max and not to mention, if you don't have a damn spotter, come on, come on. Can't say I haven't done it. I can't say I haven't done any of this. There's a time in my life where I would spend all my time chasing maximum strength. I was doing seven single rep sets, progressively heavier and heavier, three times a week on squat and bench, and one time a week on deadlift. And then I was training shoulders and upper back in between those days. So I was at the gym six days a week and then I also work on Sunday. So I was, I was working at the gym at the time. So I was at the gym every single day. And you know what happened? I got really, really strong. I was also like 205, 210, 161 now on the scale. And that's a big part of that because I was eating like a moron and just getting kind of fat really. Built some muscle too, for sure. Got a lot stronger, but I was definitely not in good shape by any means, under any circumstances. Even though some people be like, oh, you don't look so bad. Well, I'm like, thanks. What is that supposed to mean? Anyway, yeah, so pretty much just, that's the idea here. You don't need to chase back strength because you can get injured, which is actually what happened where I was kind of getting to that before I got a little distracted. But I ended up getting injured, having to take four months off to recover and do my own variation of PT. Fortunately, my mom was a PTA for a long time, so she gave me a lot of exercise I could do and kind of rehabbed it myself, not my recommendation. You should go see a doctor for all that stuff. But the point is, you don't need to chase max strength. And instead, chase max technique. Be the best bench presser, even if it's 95 pounds. Be the best squatter, even if it's 95 pounds. Even if it's the empty bar, does not matter. Chase the best technique you possibly can, because not only will you be able to get stronger over time a lot easier, you'll stay 
that you'll keep your injury risk at a very, very low rate, like a very minimum, which will keep you in the game longer, resulting in more strength, more muscle, you'll feel better, you'll be able to go out and do things without having to worry about your hips hurting or your knees hurting or all this other stuff. So stop worrying about max strength. Start worrying about max technique. That's my message of the day. Hopefully you enjoy this. Hopefully you found it helpful. If you have questions, definitely let me know. Uh, also head over to gameswithgabe.com, sign up for the newsletter, send out daily emails with more tips just like this one. Also do a podcast, also do all kinds of stuff, but the way to get all that, including my programs, is gameswithgabe.com, join the newsletter. So that's all for now. Thanks so much for being here and I'll talk to you next time.